Pokemon Go Fest 2020 has come and has gone. And a very familiar sight, as you can see this morning, and something that if you played Go Fest Day 2, you've seen every five seconds. A lot of people liked the stuff, a lot of people did not like the stuff. Some people like the alternator, alternating hour long spawns and more of a control spawn on day one. Some people liked it a lot more. But on day two, seemed to release probably three times as many shinies as day one. In fact, I'm just here making this video to show you kind of the, the ending of the event. Kind of what I ended up with after everything was said and done. Now, I had 300 spaces for Pokemon before, I believe about halfway through day one. Yeah, I filled it up probably within three or four hours. Out of the 20 hour event, I played for 19 hours and 58 minutes. The only reason when I didn't and why I stopped, I was literally eating and nothing was going right for me. It was the morning of day two and I'd gotten spoiled for getting that shiny unknown on day one very, very early. But the good news is for me, I think I ended up with 25 for the event. The only couple that I really didn't get was because I did not know there was a shiny Survivor uh, and Krognut, which really sucks because I use that in the Battle League a good bit for the Great League. So, I'll go ahead and show you what I ended up with here. And I'm definitely not complaining. I mean, yeah, everyone hated that they were getting shiny chances. And here, I was one of the only people in my whole group of a good bit of people that did not. So I am pretty happy with the whole Tangela with the Carvana. I didn't know about it and I love how it actually looks. The Marowax and the Zangoose right there, I literally got within a hundred feet of each other. All three of those together. The Shiny Gibble, of course, everyone really, really liked. Heatmore was probably my favorite from the whole event just because of the, the inversion of the coloration makes that thing look so awesome with its dark theme with that bright, shiny, reddish pink lava look to it. So it was an all in all an actual good day. Metatite, one of my friends, really badly wanted it, had seen over 1,200 and still didn't get a shiny. Uh, I just got over on the event, like maybe 120 seen and got mine within 20 minutes before the event ended. So all in all, I'm pretty happy with the event. I mean, the shiny rates really saved it. Yeah, the Shadow Mewtwo was cool, but I don't think it was really as big of a thing to a lot of people, especially with the fact how the day just started off with complete Team Rocket madness and not being able to do anything because you couldn't click on a Pokemon that was near a stop because then you'd be in a 15 hour battle with a grunt or having to cancel out those menus and all that stuff. And that did get kind of annoying. But all in all, it was a good day. I believe it was a great two-day event. Got a lot, of, a lot, a lot of eggs hatched. Probably walked about 25, 26 kilometers. And I just hope that next year can be something again like that remote globally. That would be kind of cool. Even if things were better in the world, I still would love that kind of deal. But until then, I have more videos coming up especially about the big news about not just the three unlocks we got but even bigger news with the cap and i will see you again in those